today, there are injustices, violations of human rights. There are sadly too many names to name. Too many tears to count. Too many gone too soon. These are not the stories any of us want to know. But to not look deep or to look the other way. When others are jailed, beaten, raped, sold, imprisoned, starved, killed. It's another form of violence. We must not be silent. So we read, we look, and we listen, and then we write, and we share what we know. Your world. Your world of social standing and family honor, your world of shame and respect, your world feels too tight like a boa around her neck. That's why Shephelia put on lip gloss and made friends with outsiders beyond Great Sankey. That's why Banaz ran away from that old wife-beating man he forced her to marry. When I ran away from my husband, my parents threatened to kill me if I didn't go back. They see it as a big dishonor. Like I've slated the family name. People are talking bad about her, saying she stands too close to the boys. I told Ma, teach her a lesson. Couldn't you see the conundrum you put her in? Forced to conform to foreign rites of passage created in a land that echoes vaguely in her head, reminded every day where the deed to her body parts lie, under your mattress where you also hide the key to the shackles around her sex, ignorant that she lives in two worlds, the East and the West. They meet in the middle inside her breast. The same one you co-opted and sold to just the right bidder. Not knowing that secretly, she'd had a crush on her British babysitter. When my husband raped me, it was like I was his shoe. He could wear whatever he wanted to. I didn't know if this was normal in my culture or here. I was 17. No one walks out at night. Their bones crack, yet medicine hovers at high inflation. Caracas police breaks their bones. Guns are prohibited, yet hunger drives the people to crime. Guns are collected under the black market. Caracas is the most dangerous city in the world. Murder rate at 120 per 100,000. No hay comida! No hay comida! No hay comida! No hay comida. The younger of twins, the founding member of sexual minorities Uganda, assaulted in his home, bludgeoned twice in the head with a hammer. After his funeral, hundreds of rainbow-colored balloons were released into the sky. Why is that a very strange thing to happen in the middle of the day? Why the beatings? Why the scars? Why the machine of the rectum? A tool to dehumanize? The silenced and endangered? To stigmatize? It's so painful, it hurts. And there's blood, blood coming from every part. God walks the streets yelling, out with the homos, hang them, kill the gays, homosexuals are a curse to the world. Anne-Marie, Denise, and Claudine have suffered the ravages of war. They are the terrain upon which war is being fought. A war against all women, repeatedly kidnapped, gang raped, impregnated, and terrorized their flesh torn to shreds by a salvo used to assuage the defeated egos of male soldiers. Soldiers in search of a magic bullet repelling potion. Gang rape for the blood of virgins. An educated mom from Asia trafficked right out of JFK airport after she gives her documents to a man she thought was from the employment agency. A 12-year-old girl raised in the Bronx sold by a man she thought was her boyfriend until there were threats against her if she didn't do what she was told. So I read news articles and watch TED Talks of women whose rights and bodies were stolen from them just for answering the wrong ad, getting in the wrong car, choosing the wrong guy. And I relearn a truth that I already know that women are always vulnerable, and the line between safety and danger is so thin, like the slice of the knife mark he left on her neck, but long-lasting, like the crush of broken bones that ache for years after, the bruises on the bodies of women and girls who have been sold are in various stages of color, black, blue, purple, yellow, but 
The psychological manipulation and the internal bruise of trauma is much deeper and forever tender. So when I tell a survivor over coffee that I want to tell her story, she says, no, don't re-exploit me. 7,076 deaths can be attributed to Operation Tokang, the state's knock and plea program. The cues are to express their guilt, to pushing drugs or being a drug addict and receiving jail time, or, alternatively, may find themselves summarily executed by state-sponsored death squads ignominiously noosed with a cardboard sign around the neck, pusher ako, or I am a drug pusher. Arrested three times for his political views, the most recent was in November 2016 for 55 days after he filmed himself spraying graffiti celebrating the death of Fidel Castro. Abajo Fidel, abajo Raul, he said into the camera on his phone. Abducted, beaten, and gagged, Danilo recounts in his sketchbook that he was transferred five times. The sixth in his sketchbook wrote a poem in Spanish, The Sound of My Soul, from within the walls of a cell that could never contain his defiant, indefatigable spirit. He wrote, I want to know what I have done. I want to know what is happening to humanity. Content contrary to the revolution. As poets and activists, we want to live in a world where rights are inherent, not taken. Where bodies, hearts, and minds can't be broken. Where our rage over injustice leads to real change. Around the world. Censorship. Homophobia. Sexual terrorism. Sex trafficking. Honor killing. Government sanctioned killings. Governmental control. Violating, violating human, human rights. rights. With the hopes of freedom from slavery. Freedom of expression. Identity rights. Gender equality. The right to life. The right to food. The right to our own bodies. We action. In the names of Jane Doe. David Cato. Shafilia. Denise. Jose. Romeo and Danilo Maldonado Machado. We, we raise, raise our, our voices. voices. We need to wake up, step up, up rise, rise up. up. From New York. To Cuba. From the Congo. To Venezuela. From the Philippines. To England. To Uganda. We, we bring, bring these stories center stage. stage.